the end of O Week last year, we went on the PHB camp to Kyola. As well as being a great opportunity to just chill by the beach, we also met everyone who was in the PHB. The girls that I was in a cabin with are the girls that I catch up with for biscuits and tea about once every two months or so, minimum. <laughs> Having that friendship group established before classes had even commenced, but you had some friends straight away, which is pretty good. Because you're in a cohort of about 50 people, everyone's on the same boat, even though you might be doing different subjects, but the level of difficulty and like the contact hours and things are vastly similar. So everyone you know, knows where you're coming from. A big part of the support for PHB comes from the other PHB students and your own cohort. After spending the week together in Kyola last year, you kind of know each other and you walk into the lectures and just like, hey, there's a PHB crowd and it's all very exciting. As part of the PHB program, you have to do three major research projects before you even start honours. The experiment I've been helping out with is part of a larger project to levitate a mirror using a tripod of light. I've been in the lab, reading papers, analysing data. Future applications of floating mirrors include new possibilities for secure communication. Yeah, floating mirrors, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I understood you could do research, but I didn't understand how easy it was to get to know the academic community here. And it was so easy to just walk up to a bunch of researchers and say, hi, what can I do? And then suddenly you're involved in their group and doing so much with them. Having chats with the lecturers outside of the actual lectures and sort of going up to them and talking about their research interests and things like that, I found that really, really enriching. You know, you ask them about their research interests and they suddenly get really passionate and they tell you all these things that you wouldn't have known otherwise. The PHP program for me has already opened doors. Not only am I learning some great physics, I'm networking with people who are experts in this area. Just to have that face-to-face -face contact on a daily basis has been really useful. So I've joined this running squad here in Canberra, coached by Dick Telford, who is to head the Australian Institute of Sport <laughs> Athletics program. It's challenging to keep up with them and everything, but it's good fun. And other times you need to go train by yourself. Quite often I'm down at the track at the AIS, do laps around there kind of thing. At the end of last year, I went for a position on the residence community. We organised events, mixers and things, to get new students involved. We also took them on tours of the campus to show them around, to see where the lectures were. Once you get involved with your college, you just feel so passionate about it. You really feel involved in lots of college pride and things like that. Rowing is actually a really good choice as an extracurricular activity because there's nothing else that happens at a quarter to six most mornings. So you go, you do your rowing and then the rest of the day is all yours. <laughs> Through rowing I've met all sorts of people so that's been a good foray into sort of the wider Canberra community even though it's still on campus. You may come in with a lot of expectations of what to do. You may think you're superhuman and want to do six courses a semester. In reality, it's not really that possible. Sometimes you might have to make choices and not focus too much on personal interests, but be more realistic about things that you actually have to get done. I think the PhD would suit someone who's very interested in research. This is a brilliant opportunity to get involved in research so early on. It would be suited for anyone that is really curious about something and just wants to work hard at it because you don't need to be extremely good at it you just need to be able to work at it you know and have this driven curiosity that you want to fill. Once you get into the courses and you sort of keep up the work ethic that you built in high school you're more than capable of being able to maintain a HD average throughout. As long as you are truly interested and truly want to do the work for it you know it will work out and it's great fun. <laughs>